This video series focuses on the elements of design, lines, shapes, forms, spaces, textures, and color. This video focuses specifically on colors. There are nine videos in this series. Be sure to start by watching the introduction and then come back to this video. I have provided four additional short videos that explain color theory. Start this color study by viewing these videos. There seems to be some confusion. Often, when I view color theory videos online, there will be differing versions. My videos adhere to industry standards used by professional designers and printers. The first video is less than four minutes long and addresses the true primary colors with proof. In order to do any work with color, we must start by understanding the true primary colors. Beware of traditional ideas that have been taught in the past. This short video explains everything. Be informed. This short video is less than four minutes long and aligns with the Ontario Science Curriculum. Reflected and absorbed colors are explained. The industry standards for CMYK and RGB colors are also explained. This short video explains the three color scales neatly and concisely, all in one place, in less than four minutes. Understanding the three color scales is easy and is a necessary and important part of working with color. Often color and value are listed as separate elements of design. This video explains the connection between them. Finally, this one-minute video was designed to inspire young artists and encourage creativity with color. Enjoy! In less than 15 minutes, you can be well informed about color. Printable sketchbook pages are included. They summarize the information presented in the color videos. Start by printing these information pages about color and add them to your sketchbook. Complete all of the art exercises for color to explore different ways that we use this element of design in artwork. Printable worksheets are available. Let's take a closer look at the way color connects with the elements of design. Recall that a line begins with a point. Lines can describe the edges of shapes and forms. Shapes are two-dimensional and flat. Forms are three-dimensional and have volume. Space is the area around lines, shapes, and forms. Negative space is the outside and positive space is the inside of shapes and forms. So lines, shapes, forms, and space need to be grouped together. We cannot think of one without thinking of the others. Colors are applied to lines, shapes, forms, and space. In other words, a color on its own is incomplete. Color needs to be applied to a line, a shape, a form, or space. For example, it is more complete to say that we have a magenta square rather than to say that we have a magenta. Therefore, these elements of design are connected. In summary, the three primary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow. There are three color scales. The hue scale is also called the color wheel. It includes all bright colors. The value scale includes all lightened and darkened colors. Darkened colors are called shades. Lightened colors are called tints. The chroma scale includes all bright and dull colors. We use these three scales together to describe almost any color. In order to help us to create pleasing artwork, artists and designers have organized colors into color schemes. Let's try it. 
we will start with a monochromatic color scheme. A monochromatic color scheme includes one hue plus its tints, shades, and varied saturations. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create four monochromatic color schemes. Victor Vassarelli is a famous artist. He used a monochromatic color scheme in this painting. Delft Blue Pottery from the Netherlands is made with a monochromatic color scheme. Let's try analogous color schemes. An analogous color scheme includes a limited range of hues that are adjacent on the color wheel plus the tints and shades and varied saturations of each of the selected hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create four different analogous color schemes. Claude Monet is a famous artist. He used an analogous color scheme in this painting. Vincent van Gogh used an analogous color scheme in this painting of sunflowers. Let's try complementary color schemes. Complementary color schemes include two complementary or opposite hues plus the tints and shades and various saturations of both hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create four different complementary color schemes. This mask of the Northwest Coast people was painted with a complementary color scheme. Blue and yellow is a complementary color scheme and is popular with sports uniforms. Let's try split complementary color schemes. Split complementary color schemes include two complementary or opposite hues plus the analogous colors of one of these hues plus the tints and shades and varied saturations of all of the selected hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create four different split complementary color schemes. This self-portrait was painted by Vincent van Gogh and has a split complementary color scheme. Indeed, Vincent van Gogh is well known for his use of yellows and blues. Mark Rothko is a famous artist. This painting has a split complementary color scheme. Let's try triad color schemes. Triad color schemes include three hues that are equally spaced on the hue scale, plus the tints and shades and varied saturations of these hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create four different triad color schemes. Here is an example of a triad color scheme in textiles. This tartan plaid textile also has a triadic color scheme. Let's try a few more color schemes. 
A warm color scheme includes all the hues on the red half of the hue scale, plus the tints and shades and varied saturations of all of these hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create a warm color scheme. This beautiful dress was created in India and has a warm color scheme. A cool color scheme includes all the hues on the cyan half of the hue scale, plus the tints and shades and varied saturations of all of these hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create a cool color scheme. Pablo Picasso is a famous artist who is well known for his blue period when he painted mostly with cool colors. A high key color scheme includes tints only of all hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create a high key color scheme. Helen Frankenthaler created this high key painting. It has a delicate feeling. A low key color scheme includes shades only of all hues. Choose four or five colors from this range. Use pencil crayons and markers to create a low key color scheme. Mark Rothko created this painting with dark colors. It has a mysterious feeling. How will you use color schemes in your own artwork? Tell me about your artwork with color schemes in the comments below.